happen. By the time we get to the manger, it's deeper than some people realize. After Satan pulled his prank in the Garden of Gethsemane, God said to the serpent, I will put enmity between your seed and her seed. The seed of the woman will bruise your head and you will bruise his heel. Now take this down a little bit. Take it down because I want them to hear this. Here's the mystery of how we got to the manger. Cain and Abel were born the first two sons. It's strange, but it seems as though the Lord always skipped the firstborn and went to the younger for the movement of the seed. Amen. Cain was the oldest son, but the Lord accepted Abel, but Cain killed Abel, and so the seed showed up in Seth. The seed is moving. The Lord reaches into the region of Ur of the Chaldees, there's a man there by the name of Terah who is the father, but he doesn't pick the father. He picks the son by the name of Abram. <coughs> Sends Abram in a direction, and it took years. And Abram and Sarah didn't believe that they would ever have a child. And so they thought they would help God out. <laughs> and the firstborn child was Ishmael. Abraham says to God, I wish, I wish to God that you would make him the seed. The Lord said, I'm going to bless him, but he's not the one. Skipped over Ishmael, and the Lord picked Isaac. Isaac hooked up with Rebecca. Rebecca and Isaac had two sons. The oldest son was Esau, but he didn't pick Esau. He picked Jacob. Jacob hooked up with Rachel. And eventually they had 12 sons. The oldest son was Reuben, but he didn't pick Reuben. He picked Judah. And out of Judah comes the tribe. One day Samuel is assigned by God that there needs to be a new king in Israel because King Saul was wicked. And he goes to the house of Jesse. And that was seven sons, and Jesse very proudly pointed to all of the seven sons. Look at these sons, look at these sons. And Samuel looked at all of the sons, and he said, none of them. Do you have another one? Yeah, I got another one, but he's just the youngest boy. He's out in the backyard. He said, let me see him. And he goes out in the backyard and sees him, and he said, this is the one. David finally makes it to the throne, but they are older sons. He has a son named Amnon and one named Adonijah and Absalom. And these get into a real tussle and a fight in the house. The man has got real trouble in his house. Eventually, David comes to the end of his reign. And Bathsheba is concerned about who is going to follow him on the throne. Adonijah is conspiring to get the throne himself, who is older. But there's another son named Solomon. 
who is the younger of Adonijah or Amnon. So the Lord skips over the older one and picks the son Solomon. I hurry now to the New Testament. And here's a young girl named Mary and the Holy Spirit comes to her. Says, Behold, blessed are the fruit of thy womb. And most of you know the, the Christmas story, but what I want you to see is the mystery of the Lord always going over the older one and going to the younger son. Mary's first child was Jesus. So does that break the pattern? No, it doesn't. Because not only is Jesus not the first in the line of the seed, Jesus is called the second Adam. So Adam was really the first son of God. And Jesus is the second son of God. So when the Bible talks about it, he came down through 42 generations. By the time we get to the manger, look at all that has taken place. It is not until that has taken place that we finally can say with clarity, and there were shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flocks by night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and they were so afraid. And the angel says unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is the Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you. Ye shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. I want somebody to understand tonight that when, by the time we get to the manger, God has already worked miracles. Don't take this Jesus for granted. By the time he's wrapped in swaddling coals and lying in a manger, the Lord worked miracles then. The Lord is still working miracles now. And is still yet to come. So we want to extend the invitation for somebody who thinks that this is just about a little baby. This is not just about a little baby. Isaiah says, for unto us a child is born. Uh-huh. But unto us a son is given. The child was the flesh, but the son pre-existed long before the child ever entered into the womb of Mary. This is a heavy thing. And one of the days that Trump shall resign, and the Lord shall descend, even so, it is well. The doors of the church are open. If you're here, this is your home. Somebody needs it.